How to send iPhone videos to Android without losing quality? Well, I will share a secret with you on how you can maintain the best quality using tools like the Union Converter. Hey everyone, I'm Dom from Wondershare Union Converter. If you've ever tried to send a video from your iPhone only to be disappointed by the reduced quality, you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you the best methods to send videos from your iPhone without losing any of that crisp, clear quality. Whether you're sharing memories with friends or sending important footage, these steps will ensure your videos look their best. So let's get started. So first of all, here is the reason why iPhone videos look blurry on Android devices. Well, it all comes down to how the videos are sent. So if you want to send a video through text message to an Android user, the video has to go through something called the Multimedia Messaging Service, MMS. This is the way that allows videos to travel between phones because iMessage is not supported on Android. But here's a catch. MMS has size limits set by phone companies and these limits are pretty small compared to the original size of iPhone videos. So when the iPhone video reaches the Android phone, it gets squeezed down to fit into these limits. And sometimes it gets squished even more by the phone company to save space on their own networks. So by the time it reaches the Android user, the video has been squished so many times that it looks blurry and really bad. So let me show you how you can send iPhone videos without losing quality. While it's tough to avoid size restrictions with MMS, we will work our way around this and maintain video quality. So one of the best methods is using Google Drive or Dropbox to send high quality videos. So on Google Drive, everybody has 15 gigabytes of free storage space, which is pretty enough to send files back and forth. So start by downloading and installing the Google Drive app on your iPhone. Once the installation is complete, launch the app. In the Google Drive app, look for the colorful plus symbol located at the bottom right corner of the screen. Tap on it and select the photos and videos option. Then choose the videos that you want to send from your iPhone's library and just simply upload them. Now let's find the videos that you just uploaded in your Google Drive app. Look for the recent files section and locate your videos. Next to each video, tap on the three dots here and select share. Enter the email address of the Android user you want to send the video to. And once you've done that, simply send the video. The Android user will receive it in perfect quality, just like you uploaded it. Dropbox is another option for sending high quality videos from your iPhone. Here is how you can do it. To get started, install the Dropbox app and create an account. Once you've done that, open the app on your iPhone. Inside Dropbox, create a new folder specifically for the videos you want to send. Open the newly created folder and tap on create at the bottom of the screen. Then select upload photos and choose the videos you want to share from your phone's gallery. Once you've uploaded your iPhone videos to Dropbox, it's time to share them. Tap on the three dots next to uploaded videos and select share. You can then choose to share a folder or generate a link that you can send to the Android user via a message or an email. The Union Converter is a great tool to compress videos while maintaining their quality, making sure that your iPhone video will look great when it's sent. So to compress videos with the Union Converter, follow these steps. If you don't have it yet, grab it from videoconverter.wondershare.com. Open the Union Converter and from the main interface, select the compressor tool. Then import the video into the compressor tool. Click on the settings icon here and select the compression ratio while moving this toggle. By keeping it within the green area, you will ensure the best quality size ratio. But obviously, you can go as low as you want. For email attachments, the size limit is 25 megabytes. We just made a video about this recently. So you can go down until 25. So you can send the video as an email attachment. And then select an output folder for yourself and then just click on compress. The compressor tool also supports batch compressing so you can add multiple videos. Down here you can select the universal compression ratio and then click on start all. Once the process finished, you can send the videos to any Android users in a much better quality than as if they had been sent through Messenger, for example, WhatsApp or via MMS. Alternatively, you can always use transfer sites like WeTransfer or MyAirBridge to send your videos to an Android user. But make sure that your video has been recorded in MP4 and not in AGIC, because Android users probably won't be able to open your AGIC videos. You can change this within the camera settings. 
but if you had recorded an AGIC, first you can convert those files with the Uniconverters converter tool. The process is very simple. Just import them into the converter tool, select the output format to be MP4 and click on convert. But that's all for today's video. I hope it helped you in sending your videos to an Android user. And if it did, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.